Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Today I wanted to share something just a little bit different. By far, the most common question I get asked is how do you set up to film your videos and what lighting do you use for your videos? So today in this video, I just kind of wanted to share all of the things that I use, the lighting, and some of the tips and tricks that I found for filming as I've been doing this over the past several years. Now before you join me in my craft room, I wanted to just do a quick scan around my craft room so that you could kind of get a feel for how it's laid out and I also wanted you to see the lighting that's in the room and kind of where it's positioned. So now let's go on over there and join me in my craft room and I'll walk you through all of this. So when I'm filming my video tutorials, this is exactly my setup here. I have my camcorder here. This is a Canon Vixia HF G30. I have it mounted on a tripod so that the tripod points directly down at my work surface. Now in order to get the tripod to do that, I actually had to buy a specific type of tripod. And that's one where the arm comes out of the center and you can place it at a 90 degree angle. The tripod that I use is the Vanguard Alta Pro 263AT. And this is actually the center arm that slides down into the tripod. But it also slides out and you can then adjust this little arm right here to where it is coming out and you can point your camera directly down at your work surface. And this gives me a really nice angle. Now as far as the camera that I'm using, I actually purchased this Canon Vixia last year. I changed over from my Canon DSLR, it was the T3i. I was using that prior to the Vixia and the reason that I changed over was for focusing purposes. The DSLR you can set to autofocus, but it's not a very smooth focus. And so I was manually focusing all of my videos. The problem with that was that when I had wanted to hold something up a little bit higher to the camera so that you could see it in detail, the camera would then not focus on that because it wasn't set on autofocus. And the other thing is I would have to readjust every time I brought my die cut machine in because that sits up a little bit higher. So I had to focus on that die cut machine. And then when I took the die cut machine out, I was finding that I was forgetting to refocus then on my mat and then the rest of my video would be out of focus. So I chose the Canon Vixia HF G30 based on some recommendation from a couple of my crafty friends, Jennifer McGuire as well as Christina Warner recommended this camera and so that is the camera that I chose to invest in when I wanted to move from my DSLR to an actual HD video or camcorder camera. Now as far as lighting in the room, I actually don't use natural daylight because my lighting changes throughout the day based on where the sun is. This room is actually on the west side of my house, so in the morning I do not get as much sunlight as I do in the afternoon. And in the afternoon it tends to be direct and a little bit harsh. So a few years ago for my birthday, I actually changed over to a chandelier in my craft room. Before that, I had a ceiling fan in here. Now this chandelier actually has six light bulbs in it. And one of the things that I had to think about when I changed over to the chandelier was the amount of heat that was coming off of the chandelier since I no longer had a fan in the room. So as far as lighting goes in my room, I actually use the central light in my room to light my videos. I don't use any additional add-on lighting. I do keep these windows or these shutters closed during all of my filming because this room is on the west side of the house. So in the morning I get less light and in the afternoon I tend to get that direct sunlight that kind of is a little too harsh for videos. So when we built this house there was actually a ceiling fan in here and a couple of years ago I decided I wanted a chandelier in my craft room instead of the ceiling fan. Now this chandelier has six light bulbs in it and I had to get a little bit creative because I was no longer going to have a ceiling fan to kind of keep it cool in here and six incandescent light bulbs can throw off quite a bit of heat. So I did a little bit of research and I ended up with some LED light bulbs. Now LED light bulbs are still going to put out some heat but they're not going to put out as much heat as an incandescent light bulb. I also wanted to make sure that they were nice and bright. So these LED light bulbs are 500 lumens each. 
and I wanted to make sure that the temperature of the light bulb was as close to a clean daylight temperature as I could possibly get. These are 2700 K as far as temperature goes for light bulbs. If you get something that's too warm, you're going to end up with a really orangey or yellow cast to your videos. And if you get something too cool, you're going to end up with like a blue green cast to your video. So you want to make sure that if you're going to use central lighting that you may want to consider investing in some high quality LED balanced temperature light bulbs. And that's what I did here. Now they were in no way cheap, but LED light bulbs are supposed to be not only eco-friendly, and put out less heat, but they're supposed to last a lot longer than incandescent bulbs. So you have to take that into account when you're investing in something like that. Now, before I switched over to using the central lights in my craft room for lighting my videos, I actually use these Stella desk lamps to light my videos. I actually have two of them. I have one on each side, so one for each workspace at my craft table. And the nice thing about these Stella lamps is that there are three different temperatures of light that you can get from them. So I'm gonna turn this one on here. They actually are kind of touch activated. There's no switch or anything, so they just work by touch. And you can actually brighten them or dim them, so you can get as much or as little light as you want. And you can also use the mode button to change the temperature of the light. So I have a really blue light there. I have a really warm light there. And then I have a really kind of mixed light here. And this kind of in-between color is the temperature that I was using prior to using the central lighting in my craft room. I really do highly recommend the Stella lights. I like them. The other thing that you have to consider with the LED Stella lights is that sometimes with your frame rate, you're going to get a little bit of what looks like a wave in your video. So you may have to play with the frame rate on your camera in order to reduce that kind of wave that you get from the LED lights. So I wanted to quickly show you how I adjust the white balance on my camera prior to filming each and every time I do this. Now, I'm not only using balanced light bulbs, but I want to make sure that my camera is balanced to the light that I'm using. So I have brought in a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock here onto my work surface, and I am going to use that as my true white to balance my camera. So prior to filming, I go into the settings uh, by tapping this function button, and I'm going to go to white balance. Now I am going to use this auto adjust white balance here, and then I'm going to click set white balance. And you're going to see this little icons kind of blinking and reading that white that is in the frame there. And it will automatically adjust my white balance to be balanced according to what's in the frame right then. Now, in addition to adjusting the white balance, I like to also turn up my exposure just a bit. So I am going to go into the function menu again and hit exposure. It is currently on auto exposure, but I want it to be a little bit brighter. So I am going to choose the M. So that is a manual exposure there. And I turn it up to 1.0. That just gives me a little bit more brightness. Now I can exit out of there and any additional adjustments that I need to make, I can do in my Final Cut Pro software. So this gets me as close as possible to the lighting and the coloring that I like, and then any little tweaks that I need to make, I then make in my video editing software. So there you have it, a quick walkthrough of some of the equipment I use, how I've adjusted my lighting over the years, and how I kind of set this all up to make it perfect for my video tutorials. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and remember, I will have all of this stuff linked over at my blog, as well as in the description at YouTube, so be sure to check that out. And now, stay tuned for some bloopers. <laughs> Hair loop. And this tripod is made from Vanguard. It's the Alta Pro 263. Now, when yeah. I film, this tripod here is the. Now, the camera that I use is the Canon Vixia HF G30. It's a, I've been loving this camera, orangey cast. 
And if you get something too cool, you're going to end up with like a blue cloud, with a, bleh, 